Managing multiple listings and buyers can be difficult. However, with WiseAgent's transaction management tools, you can easily keep track of important dates, tasks, and vendors. The system offers various templates that can help you get started and stay organized. And once you personalize a buyer or listing template, you can easily transform it into a helpful checklist for managing your real estate transactions. Let's take a look at how to create your checklist templates in WiseAgent. The first step in getting started is to create a template that you will create your checklists from. In your WiseAgent account, you'll find the checklist templates under the Transactions dropdown. On this page, you'll find a list of any templates that you have already created, and below that, you'll find our default templates that you can use to get started. You can preview what's on a template by clicking on the Preview button. And if you'd like to customize it, you'll click on Add Template. After giving your template a name, you'll be taken through the process of adding dates, form fields, contacts, and tasks to your template. Below, you can see there are already suggested dates, and you can add a new date, either custom or suggested, and decide whether it will be shown on the template, if it will appear on your calendar, and if you'll have it be a required date. You will also have these options to the right of any of your dates. The Show option is here in case you have a date on your template that later ends up being not relevant or useful in your templates going forward, but you don't want to delete past transaction dates that did utilize it. The Calendar icon will add the dates to your calendar and Wise Agent, and you can make the date field required, edit it, or delete it. Moving on from the Dates section, you'll want to enter form fields for your template. This is any information that you would reference frequently in the transaction, such as escrow number or title number. Having it as a field on your template allows you to add in the information somewhere that you can find it easily when needed. Again, you can add in new form fields and make them required, just like the dates. Next, we'll move to important contacts. For this, we'll be adding in contact categories rather than actual contacts, since the contacts for each transaction will be different. You can see here that this checklist has buyer, appraisal company, and cooperating agent. You can add in all contact types that you anticipate will be involved to have their information in one central location. You will also be able to send automated emails and text messages to the contacts that you select right from your checklist, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Finally, we'll set up our tasks for the template. This is where the bulk of your time setting up your template will take place. Tasks can be organized by subheadings, so for example, this template's tasks are separated by listing tasks and tasks that happen once you're under contract. You can edit and add subheadings by clicking on the subheadings button here. And on the task list, each of these tasks can be moved to a different subheading or reordered by clicking and dragging them. Let's take a look at how to edit an existing task. On this modal, you'll first fill in the description of the task, which is basically the task name. You can then choose which subheading this will fall under, and then you will choose how the system will determine the due dates for this task. For example, I can choose to say that I want to order a sign one day after the contract date. If this task is usually done by the same person, you can assign it to a team member by choosing their name below. That means as soon as I create a checklist from this template, this team member will be notified that they have tasks assigned to them as well as the due dates for the tasks. If it will vary for each checklist, I can choose to assign it to the checklist owner, meaning whoever creates the checklist, or I can choose to manually assign it after I've created the checklist. Above, you'll find a tab for adding triggers. You can choose to have an email or a text message sent automatically as part of a task, have contacts added to a drip campaign, or choose to send a team alert as part of the task. If you want to send an email, you can choose to send it either a certain number of days before or after the task is due or completed. For example, if I want to send an email to my client letting them know that I have ordered a sign for their listing and it will be installed soon, I can choose to have an email sent one day after the task is completed.
That way they can receive an email after I have placed the order. Next, I would choose to have this email go to the checklist contact, since that would be the main contact for the listing. This email content option would allow me to choose any existing content that I have in my content library. So if I already had an email drafted up for this scenario, I would choose it here. Below, you can fill in your subject line, add any attachments, and do any further editing to your email to preview it, you would select the preview button, and once you're all done, you would hit save trigger. Now you'll have a new tab with all of your existing triggers for this task, which you can edit or delete. Text message triggers would work much the same as email triggers. You will not be able to use the text message trigger feature if you do not have a wise agent texting number. The drip campaign trigger will allow you to add contacts to any campaign that you currently have saved in your wise agent account automatically when a task is due or completed. A good use for this would be adding current clients to a campaign after the transaction so you can stay in touch with them or ask for a review. Finally, team alerts will allow you to send an email or text message alert to your inside team members with a brief message regarding the task. This would be a good way to send reminders or instructions for certain tasks to the team members that they are assigned to. For example, I could choose to send a text message to an inside team member one day before the task is due, reminding them that there's one day left to order the sign. After typing in my message, I would hit save and the trigger would be saved. You can add additional tasks by clicking on New Task, and to the right of each task is an icon where you can choose to add these tasks to your task list that will show up on your Wise Agent homepage. Once you have created all of your tasks, you can scroll to the bottom and click on Finish. On your checklist template page, you'll be able to see a list of all of your templates, the number of checklists that you have created from each template, the number of triggers that are set up for each checklist template, and to the right, you have options for creating new checklists from these templates or editing the templates. You can also choose to duplicate a template to make a copy of it that you can edit without changing the original. And you can also share a template to an outside team member so they can use it in their Wise Agent account. In the next video, we'll take a look at how to create a checklist from the transaction templates that you have created. Click on the thumbnail for the next video or find the link in the description below.